Hi, my name's Phil Collins. I just thought I'd sort of introduce myself. Yes, you can read it on my website, um, but uh, I always think it's better if you can actually see the person uh, and listen to, to what they've got to say. I left school when I was 17. I joined the Royal Air Force as an electronics engineer. I spent 20 good years um, fixing aeroplanes. No regrets. I enjoyed every well, virtually every minute of it, not every minute, but virtually every minute of it. But prior to leaving the Air Force, because I took redundancy in 1996, prior to leaving the Air Force I took a degree in psychology with the Open University, and then I took a few counselling certificates uh, and, and local colleges. And I took redundancy. I was very, very lucky in getting a job quite soon after leaving the Air Force as a, an alcohol addictions counsellor with a, an agency. I spent four years with that agency working in conjunction with the probation service uh, helping people who had offended through drink and I loved every minute of it. But the agency, because it was a charity, it actually lost all its funding and I was then again made redundant. But luckily uh, one of my ex-colleagues made a a formed a committee, sorry, and then the committee applied to the National Lottery and the National Lottery gave the committee a lump of money to then start another alcohol agency. Uh, they advertised for a manager and I happened to get the job as a manager. Again I spent four good years working for that agency, but then I decided I would actually go um, self-employed as a, a counsellor. And I set up my own business, set up my own practice as a, an alcohol counsellor, um, general counsellor. And then about, well, I'd say, four or five years ago at least, I got into hypnotherapy. And to be quite honest, I never looked back. Uh, counselling is always good. And many, many people have been helped through counselling. But I just believe that uh, hypnotherapy is a lot quicker and perhaps a, a lot more in depth and better than, than just general counselling. With hypnotherapy you can get through to people's subconscious mind in a conscious world a lot quicker than you would normally get if you're just going to counsel them week after week, week after, and, and month after month. Since becoming a hypnotherapist I've helped many many people with a vast array of problems um, using hypnotherapy and another technique which is EFT, EFT Emotional Freedom Technique is another brilliant technique that uh, is fairly, fairly new but uh, up and coming and many, many therapists will use EFT now. Types of uh, people I've helped is lots of people with self-confidence problems, phobias, weight loss, stop smoking and things like that. Just an example of uh, one person who came to me for confidence issues as a, a gentleman came to me many, many months ago. Uh, and he explained that his, his eldest daughter had actually got married the year before and as the father of the bride he had to give a talk, obviously the, the speech from the father of the bride. But he said he got to the wedding, it was a very large wedding, many many people there. And he said he, he stood up, couldn't say a word and then sat down again. He was so, so frightened, so scared, uh, total lack of, of confidence there. And he was very upset, very ashamed and, and sort of didn't like the thought that he couldn't actually say you know, congratulations to his own daughter and his, his new son-in-law. So he came to me because his younger daughter was getting married um, and he wanted some help with actually standing up and giving that speech again. So we, we spent some time with EFT and hypnotherapy, uh, only about three sessions, I think we had three sessions at the most. Um, off he went and then went through the wedding and a few, a few days later, about a week later, he actually phoned me up and said, Phil, thank you very much for what you've done to me, or done for me. He said, I got there, I stood up, I gave a word perfect speech and because when I'd finished, everybody at there was the same people who were there before, the vast majority were the same people, they all sort of knew what had happened the year before. And what they did was actually stood up and give him a standing ovation and he said it was wonderful. He said, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's many other people I've helped with self-confidence, 
Um, and just hypnotherapy is just wonderful. Um, I'm always learning, um, constantly learn, learn, learn from the best. Certainly, Andrew Newton, who taught Paul McKenna, is another one, uh, one of the people that I've actually looked at and, and learned from. And many, many more. I'm always keeping my self up to date with the, the latest ideas, the latest, latest practices in hypnotherapy. So if you want to contact me, please email me or pick up the phone and give me a ring. I'm willing to discuss any sort of issues that you might want to talk about. Uh, Bill Collins.